All right, everyone, welcome to Street City Studio. I'm John, and in this video, I want to talk about and look at my new Masterworks Sentinel for the Marvel Universe three and three quarter figures. Uh, a big shout out to my brother Jesse for donating a bunch of great toys to the channel to me yesterday. Uh, I spent uh, a good chunk of yesterday cleaning these figures because they had collected a lot of dust in his garage. Uh, and so I'm pretty excited to take a look at this cleaned up Masterworks Sentinel. Uh, for a Marvel Universe collector, you would think that I would have had one of these before. But this is my first sentinel for the marvel universe figures and it's incredible man it is it is just a beast um it's 17 inches tall uh i hear there's some debate i, I didn't actually measure and maybe i should but my tape measure is buried right now but uh it, it's like 16 to 17 inches tall somewhere in that range uh now it's got lights and sounds. Man, that's fun. I think it's like uh, 28 things it says or something. But it's, I mean, it's fully poseable. It's really got some weight to it man it's heavy and solid it's kind of hard to film it <clears throat> it's so big but i mean that's part of the beauty of it just like some of these big dinosaurs that i really like because they're big you know like them And actually, it might be kind of cool to see one of them or both of them down here with him. I don't know how that's going to fit, though. That would be hard to get in camera. We can pull back, though. Let's see T-Rex first, huh? How about that? Oh, T-Rex. Next to the Sentinel. I think the Sentinel can handle the Rex, what do you think? That's pretty cool though. I think this Brachiosaurus might make him look kind of tiny though. Ooh! Knocking stuff over because I'm too short. Brachiosaurus don't don't even notice him down there, does he? That Brachiosaurus makes him look tiny. <laughs> All right, let's get him back up there because he is huge. this thing this thing is so big makes even Colossus looks tiny I'm gonna get one in his hand in a second here I think Let's see. 
I really like how the face lights up. Good shot. Looks kind of weird from certain angles, but like I said, from from the right angle, that looks cool. And you could do that with just about anybody, probably too. Now that I figured out, probably use Wolverine this time. But now that I figured out the leg positions, you can apply that to anybody. Those same same leg positions will get you the same results basically. Get him out of there. Right, put that leg under the thumb and that leg in the in a the pinky there. I have to play with it a little bit. It's close. There we go. There we go. That's a little different. He's on his tippy toes a little more than Cyclops was. Let's get in there. That's cool. That's really cool. He's probably gonna fall off at the slightest breeze, but he looks cool while he's up there. This might be, uh, this might be, this might be my new favorite figure. This thing's crazy. I want to hear what else it says. Man, there goes Wolverine. Purge power core. Beta level 
somebody crouch him out a little and get him squash him out Colossus maybe he can take it yeah. oh yeah he crouches out great look at that look at that oh man that's not bad at all No, he does have some wrist articulation, but I don't think I'm going to be able to lay it back quite how I want for what I'm talking about. But, we'll fake it. We'll just get it as close as we can approximate. And we'll call it good. His hands and feet sticking out as best we can. See, now that he's leaning so far, he's just gonna fall over. I don't want him to fall over. Yeah, that might not. He ain't gonna stand in that position as well. He's not gonna hold position. I want it to. If I can get this other leg in front of him, maybe. Oh, there we go. Kind of. Oh, he's still caving in. He's too heavy. I got the leg out front. Oh, he's still too heavy. His arm just caves. And his midsection wants to twist around. Oh, I got it. I don't know if he's going to hold it for even a second. But I kind of got it for a second, too. I'm not going to leave it like that. It's too, uh... That's too precarious. <laughs> Looks like... Looks like disco foot over here. <laughs> that ain't working. Yeah, he's a little too heavy for them disco moves, but I'm gonna stand back straight again. Yeah, he might, he might not get low as well. There too. I didn't realize he's got articulation at the top of this gauntlet thing. That's nice. That's a surprise. Nice little surprise. But here, let's turn this thing around. Take a look at his back. a nice figure and this lifts up this disconnects here so you can put the batteries in that was like the first thing I did is replace the batteries that's real nice though I kind of like all the soft rubbery parts on them Gives them some flexibility and uh, 
layers. Let me get this button back up here. It just kind of plugs in. Like tab and slap plug. Wasn't any easier last time. Probably because I'm trying to do it in front of the camera. Out extended arms. Come on now. I picked it up and it's still ain't doing it. Did it do something wrong? I might have did something wrong. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There we go. Back together. Alright. He's very squeaky and rubbery. But I like that. I like the flexibility in it that those are blocking his flexibility or his articulation in his shoulders. It doesn't restrain his movement. I like that a lot. Ejecting power core. See, uh, how does he look? Let's see, how does he look? Next to a Hulkbuster, huh? He looks pretty big still. What about the other one? What about the other Hulkbuster? Bruce's Hulkbuster. He's still giant. What about MCU Thanos? Yeah, he's still a giant. Mm -hmm. How about the uh, Smart Hawks about the same, right? <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Let's see. What about the juggernaut I use currently for my three and three quarter? It's the X Men Evolution Juggernaut, right? Let's get Hulk back in there just to show you, right? I like a juggernaut at least around here. And that, uh, that Marvel Universe juggernaut, you know, you just, you start throwing other figures in the mix and he just doesn't cut it. He's too short. Right? So, I would like him right here, but I settle for him right here. But. Even he looks tiny. Even he looks tiny. Right, he's crouched out. Let's get him in there. I kind of get a kick out of seeing from smallest to biggest like that. That's kind of cool. I still think he would tear it up, though. That's cool. I'm trying to think of who else I should throw in here for a peek, but uh, I don't know, maybe Sasquatch. 
Sasquatch. Eight by the same, right? Same as that, same as that Thanos and Hulk, uh, no. Thanos and Hulk. Give or take, tiniest bit. Yeah, man. I am so glad to have this in my collection. I didn't even have an X-Men shelf set up, but I'm going to have to set one up just for this thing. Because this thing ain't getting boxed away. Got to keep that thing on display. Have a display just for him. Some X-Men to fight him. Man, that's cool. All right. I think... I think I've wasted enough of your time. No, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I'll probably be taking tons of pictures of them. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check it out on Instagram, on Street City Toys, or even my Facebook. If you want to check me out on Facebook, I'm over there, and John Wayna, W-A-Y-N-A. -A. Um, but otherwise, you guys keep playing with them toys, and I'll talk to you again real soon.